Hi and welcome back. I promised to make another collage paper video and today I want to show you one of my favorite papers for collaging and I will print them with the jelly plate. I don't do any fancy prints today. I just want to color the white papers. The paper that I'm using is a Chinese rice paper. I found mine on Amazon and it's not an expensive version of that paper and it's pretty thin, a little bit thicker than tissue I would say, but it's opaque. And I love the feel it has, it's almost like fabric and when you use it for collaging it um, almost bleeds into your background paper so you don't see that you have adhered the paper onto your surface. I just used pastel tones today and I used a stamp to give it a little bit of texture and here you can see that rice paper. The paper you see on the right side is just some printer paper where I clean the brayer and the stamp. I'm careful when I remove the paper from the plate because I don't want to tear it and I think that's super pretty and also the paper is such it has such a nice feel. I thought about using that stamp again, but I believe there is a lot of texture going on already from the first print and also because of the dry air in winter, the paint is drying so quickly and that paper also, I feel, soaks up a lot. So um, I thought it would be better to immediately make the print. By the way, the stamp is from the Cough Collection number 3. I already have a video about collage papers and how I make them with a lot of ideas um, on my channel. I will link this up at the end of this video so you can check that out too.
If you are enjoying this video, it would be really nice if you give it a thumb up because that really helps my channel. Every interaction on the video shows YouTube that people are engaging and then YouTube will show the video to more people. At the moment we have a Black Friday sale over in our store. All our Christmas stamps are 10% off at the moment. So if you need some more stamps for Christmas you might want to check that out. I love how these papers are turning out and I really like the pastel prints and I think next time I have to make some more prints like this. I usually tend to make really saturated and colorful prints but I also adore these ones. If you want to see more jelly printing videos, I have already a bunch of them on my channel and you will find the jelly printing playlist linked up at the end of this video. I usually thought I would use more different stamps for the papers, but I really liked how the texture of this stamp turned out, so I just go with it. If you are printing with stamps and using them with acrylic paint, I recommend laying them upside down onto a wet wipe and as soon as you are done with your printing session, go to the sink and clean the stamp with water. I also decided to make a darker print so I have different papers to play with.
This time I decided to switch my stamp. I want to use the rainbow stamp from the pencil marks number three. And here you see how I mount my stamps. I just use a glue stick together with an acrylic block. If you have easy mount on your stamp, it might happen that it does not stick to the acrylic block when you do jelly printing with it, as the plate and the paint is a little bit sticky and can also um, take your stamp off if it's not adhered well to the acrylic block.
This was the last print I made and I will use some of the papers to create even more texture on them with stamps so I have them ready to go when I want to create a collage with them. I decided to pick stamps from the, from the Pencil Marks stamp set and I really love this simple texture. This is my youngest showing me his newest Lego ship. He's really proud of it and of course I told him that I love it and it's really interesting because it has some eyes in the front but these are cameras he told me. I'm stamping the whole sheet of paper. Um, I like that because then everything is ready to use and I don't have to do so much. It's perfect when you have not much time and want to be a little bit creative and play in your sketchbook and then you just can cut or tear the paper and glue it down. For this one I used black ink and I always use waterproof ink so I can just adhere the papers with gel medium if I want to. While I am stamping here, my ink pad is running out of ink and my stamp impressions are a little bit more gray than black. So I decided to quickly refill my ink pad. For this one I decided to stamp that ledger grid from the Mixed Media Marks number 2. I do not stamp all of my papers, just some of them. So I have some that are blank and some with texture. And that's why I don't like the easy mount very much. I do not store my stamps um, very carefully. I just throw them in boxes and that means the easy mount always becomes a bit dirty and it also sometimes um, get the texture of the stamp where it's laying under. 
and that's the reason why it doesn't stick very well. So if you are using that easy mount foam, I recommend um, taking care of your stamps and how you store them, um, then it will last you longer. I also wanted to have some white texture on my prints and I decided to use acrylic paint for that because the white ink pads are usually not the best. I decided to try out the small jelly plate as kind of a ink pad for my stamps. Um, finally I find out that um, the jelly plate doesn't give me enough paint to get a really opaque color and later I will try it out to use the acrylic paint from a piece of paper and that gives me a much more saturated or opaque white. And also this way of working uses up a lot of the white paint. Here I'm trying it again with another stamp. It's also from the pencil mark stamp set and you can see how light the white impressions are. And this is where I decided to change the way how I ink up the stamp. I'm just putting the paint onto my leftover paper and then I dip my stamp into it and you can see that works much better than the jelly plate. This will be the last paper for today and I already made a little art journal collage with those papers that I will be uploading on Wednesday. I thought about adding this one at the end of this video, but then the video will become too long. I recognized last time when I um, uploaded that really long jelly printing session that YouTube does not like those long videos. And here you can see that journal spread I made with some of the papers and check my YouTube channel next Wednesday so you don't miss it. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope we will see us next time. Bye!